Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. In respect with everything that's going on in our country right now, this is my intro to our mixed media piece today. So, let's spread the love today, the understanding, the acceptance, and let, let us not accept what is unacceptable. Namaste. This is another page in my morning morning book. Um, I think we're about halfway through it actually. So this was fun. I used the pan pastels for the background, different underpants. There's actually a transfer under here, some stencil work, some left-handed circles, letters. I love her. Uh, how am I supposed to feel? Good morning. I have underpants on here. I am, oh, coffee in hand, of course, dark o'clock. I have some fun paper that I got from my friend Lori that I'm going to use. On top of the underpants, I will glue this down. I'm going to bring in some clear gesso and paint the entire page with uh, clear gesso to give the page a bite so I can go forward with the next layer. The clear gesso is kind of gritty and we'll let that dry and I will get my yoga done. My body needs it. Yoga is done. I'm just going to bring in some white gesso and smush it around the images. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to bring in some pan pastels and a sponge brush. And I'm just going to start blotting a color on. I'm going to make a transfer out of this nest, so I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge on here. And I'm going to put that right down on my piece. And I'm going to massage it down and let it dry. I'm going to bring a stencil in, sponge brush, and gesso. I'm 
And I'm just going to dab some fun gesso through that stencil, just sporadically. And we'll let that dry. I'm going to bring a rubber stamp and stays on in and just add some random noise. Bring in some water and see if that transfer stayed on there. This is a thick paper, so we shall see. Life is an experiment. I'm going to bring the purple pan pastel back in. Just play with that a little bit. Transfer came out nice. You can see an egg here. You can see the underneath words here. You can see the nest. I like that you can see the numbers. Going along some of the seams from the underpants and the images, bringing that out. See if I can get this rubber stamp to show up. A hmm, little bit, a little bit down here. I'm okay with that. Bring in this fun stencil and some white gesso. And we'll let that dry. I'm going to bring in a black uh, rollerball pen with my left hand, my non-dominant hand. And I'm going to just make circles around some of the dots, probably all of them. Just be playful. I have all the uh, white stencils circled haphazardly. I love this image. I have used her before. I'm going to cut her out. I'm going to put Mod Podge on the back of her. I'm not going to put Mod Podge on the front of her. I want her to have a very flat, dry look. rose that I'm going to put on her head. It hangs over. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm going to do the same thing. Mod Podge on the back. Alright, let's finish this. I'm going to overline and underline and sideline the letters. Not going in between. with my Magic Stabilo and my Spit and Smudge. And around the edges of the page. 
This is the name of Cameron's dog, Bliss. And I'm going to go around her. And ta-da! She's done. How am I supposed to feel? Such a good question. All right, your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.